I'm here at Shrewsbury Prison, where 59 years ago the last execution took place. George Riley, a young local lad, was convicted of murdering his elderly neighbour. A few weeks later, he was executed here at Shrewsbury Prison. Today I'm back here to meet Winston Tompkins, who had a very strange encounter with George Riley a few weeks before the murder happened, and we're going to learn about his story today. Winston. How are you? Fine, thank you very much. So you're here on A Wing. So first trip to prison. What what do you think of, of a prison wing? Very, very strange, strange feeling being inside it for the first time ever. Yeah. Even though I'm 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 a local boy. But it's, it's getting behind those doors, isn't it? Yes, yes. And I used to come past this prison every day while I was working from Monkmore to Frankel. Yeah. So, Winston, this is the prison that George Riley was, was, was put in after he was um, com committed of his crime, so after he was found guilty, this is where he was sent, um, and this is where he was held up until his execution. And you've got a, I would say, a fascinating story about George Riley, but certainly a, a very local connection to George Riley. Would you mind just telling us and telling everybody about what it is that, that happened to your experience? Well, uh, yeah, when I was, I think I'd be around 18, um, we used to go to the musical weekly for the dances. And the one evening there, I was dancing around with this young lady and eventually I got to the toilet and coming back out, I had the tap on my shoulder, turned around and this gentleman said, you are dancing with my girlfriend, stop dancing with her. It's my girlfriend, not yours. And it turned out to be George Riley. Wow. So, so you... Um, and within, I think it was about three weeks, if I remember, it was a long time ago, that it, he was then charged with, with this crime. Yeah, because that, that will happen very quickly from when yeah. the murder was committed to, to him being charged. Happened yeah. very, very quickly. So, so I thought, oh, I'm a lucky boy. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to ask how, yeah, how, so how did you feel it, about that, but yes. Yeah. What's, what's really interesting for me, because I get to meet lots of, lots of different people doing this, doing this job, and one of the people I met was, uh, was an ex-officer, a gentleman called Ted, who was actually in the execution room when George Riley was executed. But yeah. somebody else I met, really, really coincidentally, um, was the lady you're actually speaking about, was, was Marion. Um, Marion. Which, which was the lady I spoke about. She came here on a tour, and I, I happened to just uh, get onto the back of the tour, and I spoke to her afterwards, and she pulled me to one side, and she said, you won't know this, but I dated George Riley and, and, and split up with him a couple of weeks before the crime. Yeah, yeah, well, it, it was strange, because I didn't know that Marion was George's girlfriend. Yeah. Apparently, he, they had a little split up. I found out later, but I... That's how it went, but as far as George was concerned, it was still his girlfriend. Yeah. So, stop dancing with my girlfriend. Because he, he was quite a tall fellow. He, as well, he was. He, he was bigger than me big, and yeah. broader. Yes, and he had a couple of his buddies with him there, who uh, uh, were saying, "Go on, George, give yeah. him one." <laughs> and George was quite calm. Wow. And he just says, "Don't dance with her." And that was the end of it. And, and did you afterwards? Did you go back and dance with her, or did you? I went out, and if I remember right, I went in into the uh, into the hall where the dancing was, and I kind of said, "I've been warned off dancing with you by your boyfriend." And when I told who it was, I'm sure I remember. Oh, oh, we're not together at the moment. And, but I didn't take that. I just took off and danced with somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> I kept safe. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. What, what I'd love to do now, if it's okay with you, is I'd like to actually just, just go up to the execution room. I can show you the room that, that George Riley was held in and the room that he was executed Fine. in, um, which yeah. is pretty much near enough 59 years ago to the day. So. Winston, so here we are in the execution room. I'll, I'll, I'll show you some of the, the, the things in here in a second. but. This is, the, this is George, this is our, our, our gentleman, the last person executed here in February 9th, 1961. Does seeing that picture, which is the, the most recent picture we have of him before his execution, bring back any memories? Yes, uh, uh, his face is, is just the same as, uh, as I remember it, except he, he was a much bigger lad than I was. <laughs> but it's, it's very, very strange just, just seeing it on the wall there. This is my first time here and uh, very, very strange. And it must, it, it must bring back, I guess, a, a variation of it. So I think you, you were saying to me on the, on the, on the way up here, 
that you, you went past the prison in the morning of the execution? Oh, yeah, I, I, actually on the morning of his execution, because I used to come past the prison every day to go to work in Frankville, from Monkville to Frankville, on the morning of the execution, I stopped outside and there was quite a crowd there. And as soon as we heard that, I think the bell, 8 a.m., it was done. Yeah, but it is very, very quiet outside. All it, I don't know how many people there, probably hundreds. I don't know, it's a long time ago. Seemed a lot of people, but it, it, there wasn't a sound out there, not a sound. And until that bell went, then people just slowly drifted away. I, I was talking to some folks the other day whose uh, brother-in-law was a warder here at the time of George's death. He didn't actually do the execution, but two of his mates did who, who worked here, uh, prison warders, and they recalled that George was in tears when it just about to happen. So... It must, so, be, a, it must be an incredibly emotional mm, time for, yeah. for, for, for both, obviously, the condemned and, and for people surrounding him. Winston, thank you very much for, for thank you very much, your yeah. story. Thank you very much, and please do come back and see us. Again. I will. I will. I've got, I've got to come and have the second look. <laughs> <Excellent>. Thank, you, <laughs> thank you very much.